the spirit we got mob goal this time was surprisingly well received. mobpedia that there's a lot of information to process right now clients with legitimate requests reagan's geo city's website looks fantastic some of these new opportunities were jobs that never should have been taken in the first place uh oh there's some danger for that smiling face. Should have never exposed yourself to the internet, Reagan. <laughs> Once you go in, there's no no going out. It's all or nothing. That's one of the trade-offs of like doing anything social media related, especially something where you're like really on screen or talk a lot. You think you're protecting a certain image or whatever. And to a certain extent that's possible, but I think the truth of the matter is we all kind of see each other. People know things about others even when they don't know they know. And you feel it. You feel that people see you. It's kind of scary. But to not show yourself to not be honest is even worse because then there's like no risk there's nothing of value there's no emotion and so you got to make a choice like you're doing it or you're not doing it at least that's how i feel about it and you know it's a weird like solution to that the only way i could think of to sort of mitigate that danger or that like fear is just to make a decision that if there are negative things being exposed about you maybe it's for the best and like your best path forward is just not to do anything that you would be ashamed of or like not to say anything that you don't believe, if that makes sense. I guess I can be more broadly applied to life too. Maybe it's one of the most difficult strategies, but I feel it's one of the most sound where just don't do anything you'd be ashamed of and you're probably going to be all right. You know, even if people come for you, it's like if you do things you're not ashamed of and always try to do your best, even if you're flawed, I believe that things will end up right. They'll end up okay. Although maybe that's naive. How does that apply to Reagan? <laughs> well, there's growth for his character, right? My feeling about him is he's so wise when it applies to life and other people, but there are some things he hasn't resolved for himself yet, but we'll see. One danger after another. Degeneration. Is this the episode about my life? <laughs> Sorry, but you're gonna have to ask someone else. Thanks for coming in. Or if you want a massage, we can accommodate. Slam a curse on this guy. Yeah, that's not happening. Damn there you go. Come have some principles. Down here and you treat me like this? Well, look, we didn't ask you to come, you know. <laughs> How dare you say that to me? The curse starts with a massage, a very salty massage. <sighs> Keep this talisman with you at all times. Curse. I don't want to do the trick. If you keep it with you, someday something will happen. I believe you. Something will Why? for sure happen. Find out you're lying. <laughs> then I. Oh, he's got an attack on, on you. Titan face. He handled that well. Do you have someone like that? No, not really. Let's do some Reagan backstory. Why don't we? It's not mob style. Hey, you don't have to think about it. <laughs> he wants to oblige so badly. Oh, wait, what? Is there someone? Uh oh. <gasps> Another attack on Titan face. No, don't do that. You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, me too. It won't really bother anybody. You never know. Are you certain about that? You never know. You put actions, you put words into the world. This guy now believes in, in stuff and that will perhaps affect his behavior. This is an extreme statement that I have no evidence for whatsoever. It's just a gut feeling. Is that no action, no bad action goes unpunished and no solid action goes unrewarded. I don't mean good action because there's a lot of like surface level good actions that aren't actually good. I mean like really like wholesome good stuff. In that sense, I believe karma is real, but not as a supernatural force, but just in terms of the fact that there's just so many immediate and extended results of literally every everything like everything every word we speak to others every action we we take etc which can be a little overwhelming i wouldn't be surprised if like narratively the show made this into an actual curse because the magic in the show the spirituality in the show is representative of like actual life things even if it's a lie in his mind he still managed to put a curse on somebody right he might spend the rest of his life thinking it's real right doesn't the thought of that scare you a little am i missing something Ooh, this is amazing I love that he even asked himself that question. Now I don't think it's a human at all. It was there. I saw it peeking through the window at me. Oh, yeah? I mean, stalkers also peek through windows. What floor are we on? <gasps> oh, <laughs> that, uh... Wait, what? That's confusing. This is the fifth floor and there's no veranda. Oh, I see. She boarded it up. But yeah, it's the fifth floor. Why am I helping you again? Because you're lonely. It's pretty uncommon for spirits to have any sexual desire. We couldn't reproduce if we wanted to. It doesn't have to be sexual. Is sexual desire always a part of love, though? Right, I, it can be unresolved. I want to talk about this with you. Oh, Anger or hate? Makes two of us, you freak. I don't know, I for one was enjoying that conversation. Tell me more about spirit sexual desires. It's throwing a fit because I called an exorcist here! Mob unfazed. It Maybe it's an earthquake. A shadowy earthquake lurking in the window. Get rid of it. Wait a minute. I feel like this is gonna turn into Scooby Doo. A living person. Yeah, it's old man Johnny. What is this dynamic camera angleism? He's in the next apartment. <laughs> what? How? Is, what? Okay, this is some real Scooby Doo stuff. <laughs> no patience at all. I couldn't help it. I fell madly in love with you at first sight. I've never. Felt oh, he's like, like projecting. Astral projecting or whatever. I'm gonna be her boyfriend. Don't get in my way or I'll kill you! Huh? 
Nothing says romance like creepy obsession. He tried to blame all his creepy stalking on a supernatural phenomenon. Don't get any ideas, kid. But why? Mom didn't have that idea. We treat them so differently. It could be a person or a spirit. <sighs> Poor Mob's got on his mind today. <laughs> oh, Reagan's getting a little tired. Mom asking some really hard questions. Idealists can be a little annoying. But anybody who's paying attention, who looks at Mob, knows that this kid is amazing. And you just gotta get out of his way. Yet another great master pupil relationship on this channel of so many, where it's not unilateral, where it's both of them learning from each other. I'll talk to him later. Okay, guys, let's head on home. Maybe eat some soba. <sighs> at least business is good. We're making a lot of money, right? Did she pay for that? So we thought, like, why don't we go to a well-known haunted place and take a photo together? Cool, bro. Hard timing at the exorcist office. That's crazy. How much do you get Mom, paid? <laughs> he gets paid in seeds, if you must know. <laughs> Whoa, this place is so freaky. Pumped. You guys, this I'm is so totally excited. Scary. I don't know, this could be fun. What could go wrong? If there's one place spirits don't go, it's abandoned houses. Oh no, this swing. It's a child ghost. Wait, would you mind taking this for us? I just got chills for some reason. Weird. Jeez. What did they just capture? I bet when that photo gets developed. So I want to know like the rates. Cash or credit yeah, yeah. Huh? Are you oh kidding? no, 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 no. It was a job. Nothing happened. Only thing you did was complain about the drive and take a picture. My time. <laughs> so they refused to pay, and they're leaving us. Speaking of wanting to place curses on people. So what now? Curse them. That's cute. Awesome end screen. Getting transported by Truck Guile from Street Fighter. Stop walking so slowly. You're breaking my stride, man. Listen, can I borrow some money? I have two questions. One, what is with Japan? And two, what is with these ball chains? I don't have any. Why are you so nervous? Could you bring some to I might have seeds. I can give you seeds. <laughs> Sugimoto, what are you? Hey, what's wrong? No, why? I'm an angel! <laughs> yes, you are. You are an, an angel. Impulse, stop it. I'm not gonna lie, sort of a beautiful moment. Oh. What's going on? For a moment, he tasted true transcendence. This time, let's keep the clothes on. I'm fine. There's no need for this. So just let him go. Okay, Ritsu? Oh, it's Ritsu. Ritsu maintained some of his power from season one. Making trouble for one of our club members? Oof. Fight! You wussies wanna fight? I'll kick all your asses! We're gonna teach you the Don't importance of like physical Get exercise. They're just sort of like hugging him. I'm gonna hug you till you love me. We'll get you guys for this! <laughs> I, I doubt it. Highly doubt, Paul. There's no need for brother to waste his abilities on a couple of thugs like that. If That's my job. Here, I can deal with them. Yeah, punishing the bad guy could be a good thing for those boys. Next time, deal with them yourself. You have the power to, right? But it's so much more satisfying when you do it in a bro way. Ghost showed up in your photo, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Just throw some salt around. <laughs> running a charity service here. We're sorry about before. Whatever you want, we'll pay it. Find that thing and get rid of it. Yeah, it is a, a little kid. Kid it's spirit. It's so much easier to just exorcise the photo itself. <laughs> my kind of exorcism. Just knowing something like that exists is creeping us all out. If you only knew what this world was. If you only knew what this world was. Man, this is going to be a little bit of an unrelated thing. One of the most terrifying things I've ever reflected on is the fact that there are things in life that have seriously hurt me. I'm speaking specifically of secrets I discovered. You know, people around me that were hiding huge, huge betrayals. And also knowing other people's secrets and knowing the betrayals they've committed against people who are not me. Then you think, undoubtedly, there are more things like that that I don't know than I do know. There are lurking spirits, let's call them, even though it's a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> I just want to talk about this all around all the time from there you go to a place of cynicism real quick and you start to wonder who you can trust if that's the case it might even be secrets of our own that other people don't know you know that's enough to mess you up itself because if i'm able to do that to other people what are other people able to do to me but i think the only answer that i can come up with at least is to one don't do that going back to what i was saying about not doing anything you'd be ashamed of or guilty of and two just accept it like that's it there are spirits there's dark spirits. It's only painful if you resist it. You don't really lose by other people betraying you. And as difficult as it is, you don't even lose by other people betraying you and never finding out. Because our own lives are the only thing we really have. And I think if done well, maybe it's enough. Full exorcism? Let me go over our course pricing. We'll take I recommend the full course. One. 
That's the full course. It's 120,000 yen. Hope we got payment in advance this time. Whatever you can do, please just do it. Yes, because removing this one demon will remove all demons from the world. Then we can rest easy pretending there are no demons. But they don't seem like bad spirits. Well, the clients are scared and they're paying for our services. Ooh, this is gonna bring this issue to a head. Why do we treat them this way? The three of us are a family. We only had a few short years together before we died. They're not bothering anyone, they're just in this shack. Let us remain in peace. Master, did you hear anything he said? Nope, not a thing. Their uh, aura was too weak. <sighs> you don't have to do it, Mom. We said we'd pay for it, so do it! Get rid of them already! So he did not get payment in advance. That solves that mystery. You've gotten rid of all kinds of evil spirits before. Oh no, These it raises some questions. Evil. They only want to exist in peace. And I don't want to take that away from them. There you go. Speak your mind, Mob. There you go. You don't need the money. You got other customers. Business is good. What are they going to do? Read a bad review? Every bit as worthy of respect as the living. And if all they're doing is simply existing in this place peacefully, then barging in and evicting them by force like this is wrong. This I don't is very. Have a mob do something like that. Very comforting. As a professional, can I put ghosts ahead of my clients? I mean, if conning is on the table, I feel like there's an easy con here. You've been saving that power as a way to try and protect your family, right? Then how about this? Oh no, this is not- Why not just kill these idiots where they stand? No, this is Dimple, why? What does Dimple get out of this? You wanna stay here, don't you? Don't listen to Dimple. Exercise Dimple. <laughs> Honey. Oh, that is a good demon right there. A good spirit or whatever. I could never do something so awful. Not in front of my child. I see. Spirit putting most people to shame. He doesn't want to do this so badly that he's shaking. No kidding. Okay, got it. We'll leave them alone. There you go. Oh my god, that is so that is so great. I love you, Reagan. I trust your feelings on this. Me too. Take it easy. Uh, but you can finally relax. It doesn't seem like he's alright. Is he a little too far gone? I can't take this lightly. If I decide I want to protect this family. It might not stop there. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. You're the boss! Just make him- <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's a waste of Himalayan salt, but okay. He can do things that other people can't. The world he sees is far greater than ours. There's a lot more responsibility. I took on too many jobs, got lazy, and half-assed things. This is on me. We're leaving. I mean, just the fact that he's responsibility for it. And he's reflecting. It just says everything. And I feel like that's what Mob needs the most. He just needs someone to, like, believe in him. Tell him that who he is is okay. Because it's great. And for Mob, I understand the existential dread. It's like, there's certain doors that once open can't be closed. A big one is realizing ways in which you've been wrong or haven't been honest. Like, I think the first instinct is to discard that thought because of the implications it would have. I think a common line of reasoning that doesn't really hold up well is, if I do this, that would mean X, and X is an unpalatable thought to me. And because it's an unpalatable thought, it can't be right, and therefore I'm justified in continuing doing what I've been doing, rather than make a difficult change. In that case, it's rejecting an idea or ideas not because of logical inconsistency or because of a lack of truth, but because of fear of the truthful and logical implications of that idea. Take as one of many examples, sunk cost fallacy, like you do things that weaken you and you sacrifice and you lose, but you're not getting the reward you want. To stop, to cut it off, means that you have to accept the fact that it went wrong. Maybe accept the fact that you made a mistake in judgment. Accept the fact that what you want isn't coming to fruition, at least in this instance. Maybe that the people you want to believe in aren't trustworthy, and that is a really bitter pill to swallow because it sort of leaves you with nothing in a certain sense, or at least it leaves you with a lack of the thing you thought you were building. And so people will tell themselves that, well, the change is right around the corner, right? Like, things are about to get better. If I just keep doing what I've been doing, if I keep throwing good after bad, I'll get what I want. But often that's not how it works out, and that's, I think, how people end up in really, really deep holes that they don't know how to get out of, and also don't understand how they got there in the first place. It's much stronger, but also more difficult to accept that one made a mistake in one way or the other, and to change course. And so it would have been really easy for both Mob and Reagan to have done that, but they didn't, which speaks to the strength of their character. You sure about how you handled that? You just threw fistfuls of salt around everywhere, said that was it, and took their money. Oh, but he got paid, though. If I ever thought I wanted to get rid of a living, breathing person, and not just a spirit, would anybody be there to stop me? Hmm. Well, I feel like people would. He's got people who support him in that way. Mob is facing his own, his own shadow. Oof, that's a heavy one. Again, no like huge flashy fight, no over the top dramatics, but still something that cuts to the bone. Like a lot of issues being raised here. Issues of like self-honesty, authenticity, responsibility, reflecting on, fearing, understanding, and hopefully accepting one's own darkness. Mob's ability and powers vastly outpace 
his understanding of life. And it's a lot to deal with. And I feel like it comes with the territory of growth. You know, if you're growing, if you're improving your life and yourself, it means access to greater things. It means more opportunity. It means more power in certain areas probably. And personally, what I found is that leads me to some weird areas where I haven't yet grappled with my responsibility of those situations, right? I don't know yet what the right course of action is. All I know is I have desire. And there's a real danger in those moments of giving into the desire or the instinct without having that reflection. I think, unfortunately or not, a lot of times the reflection comes about as a result of making the wrong choice. At least that's happened a lot for me where suddenly I have a lot of things in my grasp. There's things I can I can get, you know, and maybe things I've wanted for a very long time that I felt I couldn't get. And so there's sort of like a pent up energy there and I'll make the wrong choice and then I'll reflect on how it feels. And only then do I really understand sort of my role and responsibility in those situations. But those are sort of tough moments to broach because you have to look at yourself almost as if it's the first time. You're like, oh, I'm like capable of that. I'm capable of doing bad things. I thought I was a good person. You know, I thought I was not like people that I judged previously, but no, the, the difference was not me. It wasn't that I'm better internally. It was that I just didn't have access to these situations before. But on the positive side, that's an opportunity because it's like, well, I did that. And I don't like how that feels. And I don't like how that makes me reflect on myself. But even then you got to be vigilant because these things have a way of creeping back up. And it's moments where you think you're the safest or the moments where you think you're the best person that these things emerge their ugly heads sometimes. I think really crucial in this is the people Mob has around him. To answer his question, are there going to be people who help me? Ultimately, the decision will be his, but yes, there will be people who support him because thankfully the world is good enough where good people exist and recognize other good people and want to do the best for them and are able to take responsibility themselves. So there's a chance for some real, real beauty for Mob as it applies to him and his growth, as well as his interactions with people like Reagan and his brother, but maybe not Dimple.